rulings concerning relieving oneself. People usually use the toilet several times a day. But what distinguishes Muslims from others is their adherence to etiquettes which Islam has determined and their tolerant legislation which is descended from the seven heavens. A Muslim covers his nakedness from people when using the toilet and covers himself from jinn by mentioning Allah's name. The Prophet peace be upon him said, a screen is set up between the eyes of the jinn and the private parts of the children of Adam when they mention Allah's name, meaning they say Bismillah before using the toilet. In Islam, the protection of the body and clothing from becoming stained with impurity is necessary. So if they become stained, he should wash them off. Especially when the Prophet peace be upon him, warned us from this. The Prophet, peace be upon him, walked by two graves and said, both of them are being punished, but not for a major sin. This one did not wash urine from himself. Istinja, istijmar, from the most important etiquettes of entering the toilet, Anas ibn Malik radiallahu an said, when the Prophet وسلم, would enter a seclusion to relieve himself, I and a boy like me would carry a small container of water and a short spear that he used to clean up with water. The Prophet, peace be upon him, forbade us from facing the Qibla while using the toilet when using the toilet in the desert. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, when you relieve yourselves, do not face the Qibla and do not turn your backs to it while urinating or defecating. To urinate or defecate in the paths and thoroughfares of people, their shade or meeting places. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Beware of the two who are cursed. They, the companions, asked, O Messenger of Allah, who are they? He said, Peace and blessings be upon him. Those who relieve themselves in the path of people or where they take shelter and rest. In addition, it is prohibited to enter the lavatory with the Quran because it amounts to treating the Book of Allah with contempt. Urinating in still, non flowing water like a pond, lake, or place of bathing, for example, a bath pond or a hot spring. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, do not urinate in still water and then bathe in it. And between etiquettes and prohibitions, recommended and disapproved acts remain as it is recommended to stay away from people's sight whilst defecating or urinating in the desert. Also, it is recommended to enter the lavatory with the left leg first. To say while entering the lavatory, Bismillah, O oh Allah, I seek protection in you from the wicked male jinn and female jinn. Upon exiting the lavatory, leaving with the right foot first saying, Your forgiveness. It is disliked to speak whilst relieving oneself, except when a need arises. Ibn Umar reported that a man passed by the Prophet whilst he was urinating, peace and blessings be upon him, and he said the salam unto him, but the Prophet did not reply. It is also disapproved entering the toilet with something bearing the inscription of Allah's name, unless there is fear of it being stolen. Also touching the private parts with the right hand or cleaning oneself by istinja or istijmar with it. The Prophet peace be upon him said, none of you should touch his penis with the right hand while urinating, nor wipe 
his anus with his right hand after defecating. Lastly, urinating into cracks and holes of rocky grounds to avoid harming the creatures living in them or that they might harm you. Istinja and Istijmar One of the most important practices when using the toilet is Istinja, removal of traces of urine or feces with clean water or by wiping with stones or other than them that is called istijmar. Both these practices represent the essential process for people to remove impurities and acquire cleanliness which prevents them from causing diseases. Anas ibn Malik radiallahu an said when the Prophet peace be upon him would enter a seclusion to relieve himself I and a boy like me would carry a small container of water and a short spear and he used to clean up with water. It is permissible to clean oneself solely with stones, toilet paper, leaves, etc. instead of using water if two conditions are met. The first, that urine or feces do not go beyond regions which they have exited from. When they go beyond these regions, it is compulsory to use water. An example of this is if either of them runs down one's leg. The second, istijmar, should be done with three wipes or more until the passages, front or back, become clean. That used for istijmar must be clean. Secondly, it must be permissible in Islam to use. It is wrong to use forbidden objects. Thirdly, it must be capable of cleaning the soiled area, such as cleaning oneself with stones, or a handkerchief, or toilet paper, or sanitary paper, or a piece of cloth. It must not be a bone, dung, or that similar. Salman al-Farisi said, Indeed, the Prophet, peace be upon him, forbade us from facing the Qibla while using the toilet, from using the right hand to wipe, wiping with less than three stones, or with dung and bones. Istinja doesn't have to be performed after merely passing wind. Istinja is better than istijmar because it is more pure.